And now, a Toastmaster that defines adept, please join me in welcoming Extinguished? <laughs> a distinguished honoree among Toastmasters and a tenured individual. Please join me in welcoming Toastmaster Roy Shearer. Good morning, y'all. Did he say adept or inept? I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. First, let's go to the speakers. Marvelous Gary Three primary shapes. Mine has been described as round, and you told me that at one point. Mind, body, and spirit in balance. Very good, very good, very good question to us. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, threes, threes, threes. Symbols mean things in different cultures. They gave us a lot of things to think about. You've got too much free time? Maybe you're bored. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And then uh, using a quote, and that's always a good thing to do. Quoting Blake, not you. The poet, like, about the same thing, right? <laughs> you see heaven in a wild flower. That's good. That's good. That's good. Jordan. Yeah. Oh, you're, you moved. I love the tie. That one used to belong to me. <laughs> I flew it on this floor. And you picked it up. Good for you. Good for you. All the places that tie has been, Jordan. We'll talk after the meeting. The places it's about to go. Been preparing this speech for years. Five minutes. Five minutes, Jordan. He writes his speeches coming through the door. Or when he says. Half and half, which half? Gems in the tire constellation. You can always count on Jordan for marvelous vocabulary. Or writing or rating centurions ago. And then leading into mentor, mentor, mentor. Introduced by Ulysses. Marvelous, marvelous introduction. You forge your friendship. And then he ended also with a familiar phrase, as I am, so shall I be. Very familiar. Benjamin, the intricacies of the foreign language. What a wonderful intro, Benjamin. Chilling, challenging, alliteration, strong, strong. English is the second language. I think that's true of many of us in here, if we listen carefully. English is our second language. You still live in a new culture. English will drive you crazy. And then so many good examples. So many good examples. And I like the way you concluded because it's familiar to me. Why don't you just sit down and shut up? <laughs> I've heard that, Benny. It's very familiar. Very familiar. I fight the foreign language every day. Carlos, marvelous eulogy of Lou. Ice breaker, ice maker. It was really a wonderful eulogy, Carlos. It was touching. Really wonderful. Now, by the way, I've scheduled my eulogy for next weekend. <laughs> I'd like to employ you. Okay, I, the only thing I can say now, since time has slipped away, and I liked Amy's comment at the beginning of the meeting. It's going to cost you 25%, 25 cents if you're not dressed. <laughs> I guess I'm out of time. Okay.